It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Hi folks, JB here from the Oracle Jet PM team. When working to make our applications load as quickly as possible, there's a feature in Jet called deferred rendering. Let's take a look at that in this two-minute tech tip. When working with web applications, we all strive to get that first page to load as fast as possible. And one of the methods that we often refer to uh, for getting that to happen is something like lazy loading of resources or lazy loading of libraries. And of course, that can be taken care of in a lot of different ways. But there's also something within JET called deferred rendering, which you'll find in the cookbook under the framework tab. And this allows you to defer the loading of certain sections of your application. In this particular case, uh, this is kind of showing a collapsible component and you actually aren't seeing any of the content being loaded right away. What's inside of this is being deferred. So when I click on it, it then goes out and does the rest call in order to load up this table and things of that nature. So let's take a look at what that actually looks like behind the scenes. In code, it really is just a, a standard collapsible that we've got here with some static content in a couple of them. And then underneath in this last one, we've added in our header slot and then the content, which is actually an OJ module, which is going out and loading a whole nother page and its view model and its content and so forth, is wrapped inside of an element called OJ-defer. The content that it's loading is this table and that's pulling in some static data out of an array. So uh, it's all doing that in this deferred rendering uh, way. So once I run that application and we take a look at it, you can see that if I switch over from one page to another, it loads really quickly and it shows all the static content right away. But the deferred content actually doesn't load until after I've clicked it, then it goes off, reads the rest endpoint and pulls down the data and so forth and loads up the table. So that's how you can work with deferred rendering. Was that a good tip? That gives you a pretty general idea of what's happening. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.